Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and I'm here with my muse, Benji. And today we have a big request. It's yoga for writers. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, my friend, let's begin in a comfortable seat today. Come on down to the ground. Thank you so much for selecting this video. I hope it serves you well. You know, the hardest part is showing up. We know that as writers or people who are wanting to practice sitting down to write regularly. So let this be a beautiful step in the right direction, something that supports you in your practice. Uh, for today, if you want to get a little blanket or a pillow to sit up on, we're going to begin in a cross-legged seat or any comfortable seat of your choice where you can get the spine nice and long and tall. So I'll give you a second to get settled in here and let's approach this just kind of soft and easy. So if you're feeling really cramped up today or you're feeling frustrated, that's all good. Just come as you are and we're going to ease into the practice with some slow um, breaths, some mindful breathing. As you're ready, sit up nice and tall, relax your shoulders. Again, working toward sitting up nice and tall. If it's not happening today, it's okay. It's the working toward that goal that really matters. Sitting up on something does help. Take a second to just allow your energy to drop into this moment. Carve a little path inward and work to slowly let the day thus far, your thinking mind, your to-do list, let it go for now. And let's take a deep breath in together. And as you exhale, just place the hands mindfully on the knees or the thighs or even in your lap, but just a mindful placement with that breath out. And then on your next breath in, let this inhale be longer, smoother, deeper, fuller. Here we go. And then exhale everything out, letting go of the thinking mind. And finally, if you haven't already, close your eyes or soften your gaze gently down past your nose. And this time we're gonna take a big breath in together. Here we go, inhale. Fill it up, sit up nice and tall. And at the top of the breath, we're gonna pause and hold the breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And empty it out. Great, repeat, here we go, big inhale. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, pause, retain the breath at the top, relax the shoulders, keep the skin of the face relaxed as well, and empty it out. Let everything go. Again, big inhale in through the nose. Think of this being a lateral breath, breathing into all four sides of the torso. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Capture the magic, pause, hold the energy, hold the breath at the top. Good, now let everything go. Maybe this one is out through the mouth. All right, inhale in again. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, pause. Hold at the top, relax the shoulders, relax the skin of the face, relax your jaw. And empty it out. Last one, here we go, big inhale. Big full lateral breath, feeling all four sides of the torso expand as you breathe in. Sitting up nice and tall, maybe finding a gentle lift in your heart space for this one. Pause, hold, retain at the top. Keep it soft and easy, relaxed in the body. Capture the magic for three. Hold it for two and one. Empty everything out. Excellent. Nice and easy, we're gonna drop the chin to the chest. Pause here. 
You can bat the eyelashes open here and use the or listen to the sound of my voice to guide you so you can keep your gaze down. Let the hips be heavy. Imagine you're pinching a pencil between your two shoulder blades so you're going to draw the scaps together. And then once they kiss together, you're holding that pencil, take it down. Let this, the shoulder blades melt down the back body. So we're coming in and together. You will feel an adjustment in your hands and your arms. In and together and then down the back body. Now breathe deeply here. Again, feeling the lungs, the rib cage expand as you breathe in and then soften as you breathe out. And then relax the skin of the forehead. Close your eyes if you need to to help um, initiate this action as you create a big passive stretch in the back of the neck. Then slow tick tocks, drawing the left ear towards the front of the left shoulder and then the right ear towards the front of the right shoulder. So chin stays down and you're tick-tocking here. You should feel this great stretch from the base of the neck to the trapezius, that big old trapezius muscle. Maybe pause on one side, take a cycle of breath, and then take it to the opposite side, same thing. And bring it back to center when you feel ready. And slowly carve a line with the nose to sit back up. Try to align head over heart, heart over pelvis here. Inhale, send the fingertips forward. Exhale, cross one arm over the other. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale in deeply. Exhale, completely draw the shoulders down. Beautiful. From here, keep the hips heavy, sits bones rooted to the ground. You're gonna tick tock from one side to the other, getting a little gentle stretch in the side body and the low back. So nice and easy back and forth. So try to keep the hips really heavy here. Excellent. Then slowly release the arms, opposite arm on top, same thing, tick tock back and forth, maybe a little deeper this time. Think of like the side body as like as a stick of taffy. And each time you gently come to one side, you're giving it a little bit uh, more bend, right? A little bit of stretch. All the while connecting to center, elongating your inhales, extending your exhales. Great, then we'll come back to center, release the arms, bring the palms to the knees, take a deep breath in as you shrug your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze, 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 and lift, and then exhale, drop it down. Good, twice more like that. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, shoulder blades down the back body as you drop. And one more, take it away. Awesome, left hand to right kneecap, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, lift your heart, lift the crown of the head. Exhale, twist. So stimulating the energetic body here, the digestive organs too, but really working to create a healthy flow of energy that runs up and down the spine. Get the creative juices flowing. You can nod the head a little. Yes here, maybe no. Keep breathing deep. Good, then take it through center and to the other side. Resist the urge to rock back here. Work to gently stimulate the muscles of your core to sit up nice and tall. And these things take practice, so just do your best. Using an inhale to lengthen up through the heart, up through the crown. Using an exhale to maybe look past your left shoulder. And any soft, easy movement in the head or neck that feels good, take it here. Awesome. Then we'll bring it back to center. We're going to come through to all fours. If you need a little padding for the knees, you can use your yoga mat if you have one to double up like so and place the knees here. Easy, simple trick. 
You can also use your blanket or towel, of course. We're gonna come to a little tabletop position. Bring your wrists right underneath the shoulders, your knees right underneath your hip points. And then once you have this nice neutral spine, I'm gonna invite you to walk your hands out just a little bit wider than shoulder. All right, cat cow, nice and slow here to start. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into your index finger and thumb. And then press into all of your knuckles. Good, here we go. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the chest. Again, slow to start here. Open the heart, the chest. Hang out here for a couple breaths. Close your eyes. Notice, notice, notice. Notice if you feel it trembling even here right away. And then from a place of connect, whatever that means to you, claw through the fingertips, press into the toes, hug the low ribs in. We're gonna arch the spine, arc the spine, excuse me. Chin to chest, crown of the head goes down. Again, slow to start here. Creating a lot of space in the upper back body. Imagine lengthening, so rather than tucking, just think about lengthening the tailbone down towards the earth. Take a couple more breaths here to notice. Breathe. And now let's move with the breath. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Really, really press into the feet today. And then exhale, claw through the fingertips around the spine, really, really, really claw into those first knuckles. Just claw into all your rear knuckles, actually. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the chest, look forward. Exhale, grounding through all of your fingers and knuckles, round through the spine, chin to chest, draw the navel up, up, up. Moving with your breath. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Now take one more round just with the sound of your breath. So find an audible breath and move with that. Excellent. Come back to nice neutral spine. Big toes to touch, knees nice and wide. Send the hips back, child's pose, extended child's pose. But today, you're gonna to send the hips back, walk the fingertips forward. Stay here, or there's an option to bring the palms up behind the nape of the neck here. If that feels good, walk the elbows forward. Start to get a deeper, deeper stretch through the shoulder girdle and the chest. Now, my darling friend, close your eyes. Keep up with your nice, audible breath. Let it be your soundtrack. Notice the quality of air in the room, any sounds that might be around you. And then keep returning to the sound of your breath and the sensation in your body, even the, the sticky sensations, the fussy ones. Pay attention. Excellent, then slowly we'll release. We're gonna come all the way through, back to all fours. Walk the knees back underneath the hips and then walk them back and you're gonna slowly bend your elbows and come onto your belly. From here, center yourself on the mat, press into the tops of the feet, slowly draw your hands in line with your rib cage Squeeze your elbows into your side body and inhale, lift up slowly, Bhujangasana. Keep it nice and low here to start as you hug the elbows in like little grasshopper legs. Exhale to release, press back up to all fours. You got this. Find that tabletop position Then take the hands a little wider, pinkies towards the edge of your mat, index fingers pointing forward. Then here we go, curl the toes under, take a deep breath in. Exhale, upper arm bones rotate out and we peel the tailbone up towards the sky, downward facing dog. So getting a little healthy, fresh blood flow to the brain, getting the heart above the head. You can pedal the feet out here, bend the knees. And if this is not a great shape for you, you can just come into extended child's pose. 
Keep rooting through those knuckles. Keep pressing into the fingertips. Upper arm bones rotate out as your heart melts through and towards your kneecaps. Then for a second here, find stillness. Capture the magic, the energy. Soften your gaze. Think long, beautiful neck. Inner thighs rotating in towards each other. Nice inner spiral. Find stillness. If you're wearing a baggy shirt like me, you can go into your own like little private love cave, little cave of ideas and wonder. Take it where you can get it, right? Big inhale. Exhale, slow release of the knees to the earth. Good. From here, bring the tops of the feet to the ground. We're gonna walk the hands all the way up to the thighs and we're gonna come to a kneeling position. If this is not great for you, you can do it on the belly and that's where we're headed after this. So we'll meet you there. All right, roll your sleeves up if you got them. Here we go. Lengthen tailbone down, lift heart up. Swim the fingertips around, spread the fingertips and you're gonna interlace them behind your back. Knuckles draw down towards the backs of the knees, start to open up through the chest. Again, imagine you're pinching that pencil between your two scaps, your shoulder blades. And then open up through the chest here as you draw the knuckles towards your heels. Close your eyes, relax your jaw, maybe soft, easy movement here in the head and neck. Listen to your body and respond sweetly, generously, kindly. Stay grounded by pressing into the tops of the feet. For one more breath, maybe you take your sternum up, your chest up, maybe you take your chin up, and then gaze back just for a hair. And then exhale to release everything, awesome. Shake the hands a little, maybe rotate the wrists one way and then the other. Awesome. We're gonna come onto the belly now, so come back to the hands, hands kiss the earth. We walk the knees back just like we did before, and we're gonna lower onto the belly. This time we'll swim the fingertips around here for Shalambhasan, opposite thumb on top if you interlaced before. Knuckles are gonna draw towards the heels, and when you're ready, inhale in, exhale, press into your foundation to lift up nice and low. So I'm not really coming to my max here, and I'm keeping my feet on the ground. Press the pubic bone down into the earth. Lengthen the neck by tucking the chin slightly. Breathe here, feel your breath moving you, that rise and fall. Good, and then slowly on an exhale, release with control. Press back up to all fours and bring the knees wide once again. On your next inhale, open up through the chest, send your right fingertips up towards the sky. Lean back, way back. And then on your exhale, thread the needle, right arm underneath the bridge of the left arm. You're gonna really come or work to come onto the right ear, the right shoulder here. So you're wanting to feel a big stretch in the upper back body. And then a beautiful twist in the mid and lower back. Nice and easy. Legs are still firmly planted on the earth. If you want to take a little bind here by bringing the left hand to the low back or the front of the right hip crease, you can. Otherwise, keep the left elbow bent. Inhale in deeply here. Exhale, let everything go. Empty, empty, empty. One more time, inhale. Good, on your exhale this time, come back through to center and we'll take it to the other side. So big stretch of the left arm up and overhead, spread the left fingertips and then exhale, thread the needle. Listen to your body as you move through the shape. So don't wait to listen till once you've landed, right? Connect the dots, connect the brain with the body. Find a version here that suits you. Maybe you take the bind. Think about spiraling your heart up towards the sky. Think about turning your left low ribs up towards the sky. Inhale in deeply here, breathe. Exhale, empty it out. Listen to the sound of your breath. Good, inhale in. And exhale to slowly come all the way back through to center. Awesome. Walk the knees in towards each other. We're going to slowly swing the legs to one side, any side, and then send your legs out long out in front of you. You can bend the knees as generously as you like here. I encourage it. 
Inhale to reach all the way up towards the sky and exhale to think up and over as you dive into a seated forward fold. Maybe start with the knees bent. Feel free to lift your hips up if you like. And when you're ready, rounding the head gently forward, a reverent bow, bowing the mind intelligence in towards the body intelligence. And as always, I just like to remind everyone if that resonates, great. If it doesn't, just leave it behind and take charge of your practice. Breathe deep, breathe full, slow breaths. Pay attention to the sensations. Maybe we work to straighten the legs in time. Maybe we can feel our body talking to us. And so we'll respond with more breaths, more loving awareness. If you can, try to let the weight of your head go here. See if you can feel the skin of your back stretch as you breathe in. And then gently, softly retract as you breathe out. Again, big expansion as you breathe in. Good, and then softening as you breathe out. Take one more on your own here. And then slowly release. Awesome work. We're gonna bring the knees up, feet come to the mat. Bring your bum closer towards your heels. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly bring the knees to one side and then the other, and then you're just gonna use this little windshield wiper effect to come all the way down to your back. So it's gonna give you a little scooch of the bum down. When you're ready, come onto your back. We'll hug both knees into the chest when you get there and take the deepest breath you've taken in all day. The lower back love, you can draw circles with the knees can rock gently side to side or if you're enjoying kind of residing in the stillness today with just some deep full breathing do that listen find what feels good good then bring your left leg to the ground cross your right ankle over your left go ahead and thread the needle here and we're gonna Open up the hips by just taking a gentle reclined pigeon. Keep the feet active. You can extend the left leg if you like. Otherwise, keep it bent at a nice 90 degree angle. Breathing deep, using this time to check in with some loving active breaths, right? Move the energy, calm the nervous system. Focus the brain and body inward so that you can perform, create, be your best. All right, let the left leg go down. Let's continue to bring the right toes over towards the front left corner of your mat. And then we're gonna shift the hips to the right side of the mat. So peek at me here if you need to. And then just allow the knees to fall gently to the left. You can open the arms out, cactus arms, or maybe a W shape here. W for the riders. Just kidding, super nerdy. <laughs> Take a deep breath in and exhale to come back, right? You gotta have the, you gotta save the bad ideas too. You gotta just get them all down. And second side, cross the left, left ankle over the uh, right leg. Thread the needle here. <sighs> Find soft, easy movement if it feels good. the leg, bend the knee, inhale in, exhale, right foot comes to the earth. We continue to cross the left leg over as if you're sitting um, cross-legged at a desk and then we're going to bring the hips over towards the left side of the mat, peek at me if you need to, and then allow the knees to fall over. All right, maybe a W here with bent elbows, maybe cactus arms. Close your eyes. As you breathe, think down, downward directional breath as you breathe in, into the belly. 
right to that root chakra, the base of the spine. And then as you breathe out, let it travel up and out through the nose or mouth. Good, inhale in, exhale, slowly unravel everything back to center. Beautiful. From here, you're gonna bring the feet to the ground, bring your hands underneath your bum. Walk the elbows in, so your bum should be on your wrists. Spread your palms wide. Then extend the legs out long. This is good for the wrists, the forearms, the hands. If you're wanting to just do the more therapeutic version, Walk the heels together and just stay on your hands here. If you wanna add a little level of core, we're gonna inhale just one leg up here. Exhale, switch, scissoring the legs. Keep it going. Keep rooting through your knuckles. Pressing into the fingerprints. Nice and easy. One leg up, one leg down, scissoring. And then if you wanna challenge yourself, bring both legs low and for this last bit, we'll kick the legs, kick, 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 low scissors for five. You got this, four, claw through the fingertips. Three, two, you're doing awesome. On the one, hug the knees in, release the arms, bring them to the shins, squeeze everything in, in, in. And exhale, let it go. Bring the feet as wide as your yoga mat, knees come in towards each other to rest together. Ending in this constructive resting posture where we will close our eyes, let the hands rest gently wherever feels good. Should feel a nice little compression of the sacrum. Everything is relaxed, you're not holding anything. So if your knees are not touching, bring them together here. All right, close your eyes. And quietly, if you're willing, quietly repeat this affirmation to yourself. Keep breathing. Repeat after me. When I sit down, when I sit down, Ideas flow freely. Ideas flow freely. Keep breathing, repeat after me. When I sit down, my ideas flow freely. Inhale to bring the palms together. Go ahead and draw your thumbs up to the third eye. Exhale here. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Let me know how it goes for you in the comment section down below. Sit down, write us a little note, and together we can share and cheerlead each other, have each other's back. One final breath in. And we'll close this practice by whispering, Namaste. Namaste.